Hey everybody, it's Eric with Low VA Rates, and as you can tell, because I'm wearing red today, it's a Friday here at Low VA Rates. We wear red every Friday. Hashtag Red Friday means remember everyone deployed. It's our way of saying thank you to all those who have served or are still serving. Uh, before I forget, down to the right, if you're watching this on YouTube, please subscribe to our YouTube page so that you can be one of the first people to get these videos and many more when they come out. So back to the topic today. In a previous video, we discussed how you can have a non-veteran spouse be your co-borrower on a VA loan. So for example, uh, I, I didn't, but assume I served in the military. My wife's a civilian. She can be on the loan with me. That's a non-veteran spouse being the co-borrower on a loan. We also briefly mentioned that joint VA loans um, where, where you had somebody other than your spouse who was not a veteran as your co-borrower, okay? Today, we wanted to provide you a little bit more information about this topic, and we're gonna talk about joint VA loans and how they work, okay? So what's a joint VA loan? Basically, a joint VA loan is where the co-borrower is not a veteran and is not your spouse, Okay, so let's just say back to the example, I'm a veteran, I'm not, but assume I had served and I'm a veteran, I've got VA benefits, and I want my brother to be on the loan with me. Okay, that would be a joint VA loan, assuming he did not serve in the military. Um, in a situation with a joint VA loan, the way your VA benefits work are a little bit different. Okay, so for starters, how much the VA is going to guarantee on your total loan amount is impacted. The VA is only willing to back your portion of the loan. So for example, if it's you and your non-veteran co-borrower on a joint loan, they're only gonna offer your 25% guarantee on your half of the loan. Okay, so I'm gonna go on an example here in a minute. For example, let's just say you're gonna go out and borrow $200,000 to buy a home with. Half of that is what? It's $100,000, okay? So your half's $100,000. The guarantee the VA is gonna put on this loan is gonna be for how much? It's 25% of this. So that's $25,000. That's gonna be the total guarantee, okay? So even though it's for a full 25%, remember the lender, that's low VA rates, hopefully for you, is only gonna have a 12.5% guarantee of the total loan amount. There's some risk involved in that. Okay, so your down payment requirements might be a little bit different if you're buying a home. Because of this discrepancy, right, where the lender is not getting the full 25% guarantee from the VA, you may be required to bring in additional money down. And we know most people don't put money down on a VA loan. That's one of the big benefits. You would have to, in most cases, on a joint VA loan to make up the difference of this shortage in guarantee for the lender. Okay, now because of that, it's pretty hard to find a lender willing to do a joint VA loan. For example, here at low VA rates, we don't do them. I'm just telling you right now, we don't do them and there's very few lenders that do. However, we're not here just to educate you on loans that we do. We want you to have basically as much information as you can. You may find the lender out there who has automatic authority. We have automatic authority, okay, which means the VA lets us make pretty much all of our own decisions but they still, automatic lenders like us, automatic authority lenders still might have to send into the VA for approval, not might actually, on a joint VA loan, we have to send in for approval, for prior approval, the VA needs to look at it and make sure they're willing to let you do a joint VA loan. That's just more time consuming, not to mention there's more risk because we don't have the full VA guarantee so there's extra underwriting, there's additional complications, and so most lenders aren't going to do them. So let's wrap this all up. Uh, while there's lots of other nuances to veteran, non-veteran joint VA loans, we hope we've given you enough information and insight into at least how they work. Now you can go out and you can search and you can find someone that's willing to do them for you. I've seen them, and when they come to us to refinance those, we just don't do them. So as always, if we can help you with anything else, please let us know. Keep watching every Friday for additional Red Friday videos and wear your red.